Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to another episode of Epic Battle Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we uh, made it to the final town of the game, and uh, yeah, Golden Brick Resort. And we unfortunately died to this enemy up here, which we still have plenty of enemies left over here. Um, so in terms of what we have over here, did I talk to these guys yet? Uh, me and my girlfriend live together in Whitefall, but we moved here to avoid uh, the recent riots. Yeah, we sure ditched that sinking ship. Uh, we're totally not used to this searing heat, though. How chip burns. Okay, sounds like it's pretty hot. Alright, let's start with this enemy over here, I'd say. These guys look like they'll be fairly easy to take down. We have a few new enemies, so like always, I'll go ahead and summon ScanBot to check this out. And let's get started with... Okay, what's the uh, high weakness they have? They're weak to that, that, okay, Earth, Poison... Okay, Poison seems to be the high weakness here, so let's whip Lance out, because I know Lance is, has that Poison ability. Where is it? Oh, I must have not unlocked that yet. Okay, never mind. Let's just use... What is this guy's resistance to... Okay. Oh, no, wait, they do... I did unlock poison gas. Okay. Uh, air support nerve gas now. Yes, I know it's illegal, but this is an emergency. Foes must be killed. All right, and then let's aim... Uh, this one doesn't look very poisoned, so let's go for that one. It's only one wave, so... Oh, wow, Lance's counter move is pretty strong, so... Yeah, let's keep Lance out for a while. Okay, maybe I should have put defenses up. Because if they all focus their attacks on Lance... If this slime attacks Lance, Lance might actually be dead here. So maybe we, uh... Put Lance out... Wow! Many random chance moves are happening right now. It's making us really lucky. Alright, I think regular attack should be enough to... I say that right as they don't get taken out. Okay, let's unleash this attack. That should finish that guy off. Leaving just a small little slime to take care of. Alright, uh, bubble attack. I don't think is very strong compared to our ice attack, so... Let's whip out that ice shard. It's just a slime. It should go out easy. Just like that. That's enough for Natalie to level up. Not enough for Anna or Lance yet to level up. And of course, over here we have a crab. And nothing we can technically reach yet, so I think I'll put that on hold for a moment. Uh, while we take a moment to see where all I've been, because it's actually been kind of a while since the last time I've played this game. So I just want to kind of get my bearing straight as of where we are in the game. And try and figure out here what my best course of action is. Let's max that out, because that'll be useful on the worm. This, I... No, that's not going to be very useful. I guess we'll max out Aqua Arrow and Soul Arrow. Max out the arrows. Seems like a good idea. Who can learn Sand Dune? Anyone can learn Sand Dune. It's an Earth-type attack. Anna already has good Earth-type attacks. Wait, anyone can't learn it, right? Oh, no, Nat Natalie can't learn it. Uh, I do think Lance could use some uh, Earth-related attacks, so let's give it to Lance. Alright, with that out of the way, let's see what all I could up focus on upgrading for Lance. Let's upgrade Poison Gas, since we're going to need it for that worm. And then what else could we focus on leveling up? I guess we could also upgrade the Ion Cannon, which leaves us with Natalie, uh, which we have a few things getting roughly maxed out at this point. I guess we can start by focusing on maxing out the healing spells. Uh, how is Matt doing? Matt is doing fairly well, though. Now we're maxed out on stats, so let's go ahead and save and... Start with this uh, wave of enemies over here. Ooh, already starting out good on the random attacks. So now Lance's 
poison gas should be more beneficial for us. Yeah, look at the amount of damage it's doing. Alright, vines will be strong. Uh, these guys are also highly... Oh, no, earth attacks aren't good on these guys, so let's not do that. Uh, vines will be useful, though, so let's use vines on this crab over here. And then Matt... Nettle isn't a very strong move, but let's use it on the big slime to make sure that it's well poisoned. I can't tell if it's poisoned or not, though. It's going to be my biggest problem here is that some of these guys, I can't tell if they're poisoned or not. Don't attack Lance, please. It's always Lance that dies quickly. Some of these fights I should focus more towards just going straight to getting my defenses up. Alright, let's go for a widespread ice attack. Er, Pulsar would also work well. Yeah, Pulsar's stronger. Let's do that. That way it'll now just leave the uh, big boy here. Which, oh, he has a high chance of being frozen too. So next turn, let's freeze him. Ha! You missed. Alright, so I think what I want to do is take this turn towards getting some defenses up. To make sure we don't... No one dies again. So I have no idea what's in the next wave. And then Anna, you freeze them. Very nice. Alright. Now to just take him out. Which, why did I use ice there? I think it would have been better to use a water attack. Oh well, this should take him out. Oh, it froze him. Okay. I guess if that's the case, why don't we use this turn to increase evasion? Then, we can have, uh, let's have Matt use Iceberg one more time. That should finish him off. Now we have, oh, just one more. Okay, this should be easy. Let's do a widespread pulsar to deal with the side slimes. And then just have Anna use Frost Arrow on the middle one. We keep doing that because of its weakness and high chance of freezing, thanks to Frost Arrow. And this boss will be going down in no time. Oh no, it's not a boss, it's a regular enemy. You know what I mean. Alright, why don't we use Flood since it's technically uh, weaker to that, and it'll increase uh, ice damage. Yeah, let's do that. We use Matt's Flood Attack, then Natalie can use her Ice Shard move to deal high damage. Then Anna can freeze with Ice Shard. Oh, is it gonna get stunned? Ooh, okay. Even better. We can do an all-out ice attack this turn. Alright, and then we just maxed out Aqua Arrow, so let's cast that this turn. Oh, that was really strong. Yeah, let's do another one of those. Alright, just stick with this combination and then we'll have this boss down in no time. Would think that would be doing more damage. Oh well. It'll go down eventually. Slowly but steadily, it'll go down. Alright, just, just a little more and it should go down. That should finish it off, because with it being frozen and getting hit, that's high damage. Okay, with that out of the way, I think we should now have enough to take on this sandworm. Now, just to be sure we're ready, let's one more time double check to make sure there's nothing else we can upgrade here. Uh, bamboo trap can be upgraded. Is that going to be stronger or weaker than my vines? It might end up being just as strong, so... We'll have to see how that goes. I think just about everyone except Lance has an ice move, so why don't we give Hailstorm to Lance, since Lance doesn't have any ice moves. Ok, 
can't think of a whole lot of anything else to give to lands. Poison for Matt's la max. Poison for Matt is maxed out. I can't see a whole lot else that I'm upgrading here, so let's just save and go right into it. Since now we have should be at a high enough level and enough power, especially now that I know a good strategy to beating this. I was probably supposed to stun it, but it didn't work. Alright, so let's begin by getting our defenses up. And then immediately start poisoning the, the main bot. Oh wait, I gotta summon to scan it first, that's right. I forgot about that part. But yeah, it's gonna... this is gonna be tough. So I'm already getting hit by a lot of attacks. Can he be frozen? No, it can't be frozen. And Matt's stunned, so he can't do anything this turn. Do I have the Guardian ability yet? No, I don't. Okay. So let's have Lance cast Med Pack on Anna. So that way Anna's gonna be safe for now. Then we'll have Natalie cast Toxic, because Poison, it's, it's highly weak to Poison. So Poison is going to be our best friend in this fight. So now it's highly Poison, and yeah, figured you'd be going down quickly. Yikes, my entire team's getting taken down rather quickly. Did I underestimate how long this fight would take? If so, then... I'm beginning to have my doubts on if we can actually do this. Because I need these guys alive. Is there a way I could maybe freeze the tail? Because I think the tail is a, like a big factor into a lot of deaths. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is... Is this thing weak to be... No, it's not weak to being frozen. I think what I'm going to do is each turn I'm going to whip out either Matt or Natalie to keep either defenses up or magic defense up. So this turn I'll go ahead and whip out the magic defense booster. So now we got that magic booster. Of course Natalie dies. That's fine. I mainly want to focus take on taking out the main head first because the main body... Um, is going to be able to keep bringing back the tail if we don't hurry up and deal with it. So we mainly want to focus on dealing with the tail, or the head. Though the tail is kind of a nuisance, it'll only keep coming back if... Oh, it died. Okay, I guess that's, that gives us some openings to do some stuff here. Mainly we just want to keep focusing on dealing high damage to it so in terms of what this thing is weak to I don't think Lance has a whole lot of useful stuff to keep oh wait a minute I just noticed that Anna's accuracy is going down a lot I notice well I guess Anna's accuracy isn't too necessary though so let's uh once again could I do something here uh, the only thing I could think of doing is whipping out some ice attacks. Or just taking this turn to try and heal. You know what, let's keep it poisoned. I think that's gonna be my best key to victory here, is just simply keeping it poisoned. Keeping the I probably didn't need to cast that again. I don't know why I did that. All right, and just keep using healing moves whenever it goes for Anna. That, in my eyes, is going to be the key. Yeah, I knew I probably should have gotten its accuracy, uh, Anna's accuracy back up that last turn. Oh, well. Alright, I think this is a good time to get Lance back out so Lance can get Anna's accuracy back up. So I would like to keep that high. And then whip out some magic defense. And keep at it. 
because it's trying to lower accuracy again. So that's going to be a major key, I think, is having Lance make sure everyone's accuracy remains up. Alright, we do that. And then Natalie... Alright, I guess uh, to make sure the tail eventually goes away, we can go ahead and poison the tail. So that way it'll eventually go down. Because the tail can be kind of a nuisance. Alright, so this turn, let's whip out Matt so he can raise the defenses. And then Anna, you keep using the vines. And then for this turn... Why don't we try lowering its defenses? I normally don't like uh, moves that lower the stats of my opponents, but I feel like it's a good idea this turn. Right. Oh, poison's dealing good damage. So I think I might have made a good choice doing that. So let's keep at it with the attacks. Why don't I have Matt use Temper on Natalie? I rarely use this move, but I think this will be an instance where it will be kind of useful. So with the defenses constantly going down, combined with where it's currently... And, of course, Temper was a pointless move. Okay, if it's going to keep doing that attack, it's not going to be the most useful thing in the world. Alright, Matt's stunned, so let's move him to the back for now. Get that magic defense back up. And continue attacking him. And then keep lowering that defense. Actually, it looks like... Oh! Okay. I was not expecting that. Oh, and of course, the tail still get... How is that fair? Okay, how in the right mind is that fair? Well, that was a waste of my time. <sighs> Alright, let's save that for later, because I don't think there's anything too important down there at the moment. Anyway, it looks like there's only one treasure chest, and I don't think it'll... I think we might want to wait till we're a bit more leveled up to go for that chest. Have we finished exploring all of this town? I forgot from last uh, spell. It's not very useful. Okay, it looks like we did a few things the other day. Drowning is forbidden. I don't want any more lawsuits. So we can't go over that way until we get our hands on that last upgrade. Well, technically there's two upgrades we haven't gotten yet. So we we'll want to be sure we get them. Um... Okay, I think I already talked to most of these people at this point in the game. Uh, I don't believe we've met Wink. Was there anything else here that I might have forgotten about? I don't know. Uh, let's fight the sea dragon, they said. Now I'm half blind and my comrades are at the bottom of the sea. I guess it's time to retire. You can have my leftover items. I don't even know what your leftover items are. Okay, I think there isn't much else we're able to do here, so let's just get a move on in this town. And go this way. I think that, yep, this is the way forward. The last jewel has been taken. This is terrible. We're all doomed. Nothing's happened yet, though. The sky hasn't turned dark and stormy or anything like that. Hey, look. The villains are over there in the next frame. They're running away. It's a bunch of cats. They got all the jewels. They're taking them towards those ruins. It's time to teach them a lesson. Uh, if we're quick, we can still catch up to them. Uh, don't look, no legs. Meow, meow. Well, that was a fun massacre. I always knew cats were evil. It's a shame that so many got away. I'm exhausted. There were too many of them. Uh, we might have just missed our last chance to get the jewels back. We better get to the ruins before they summon God Cat. Yep, unfortunately, we did not make it. At least there's a treasure chest over here with a permanent stat buff move. And we got another slime kitty. 
that we can use to as a form of fast travel anytime. That's always very nice. Did my eyes deceive me, or did I really see a bunch of cats run off with this town's treasure? I'm paid to guard the golden brick jewel, but our culture for forbids harming cats. So I think I'll sit this one out. What a crazy day. The protesters in Whitefall would just love to have a job doing nothing like you. Heh. <laughs> I finally got promoted to Royal Knight and have been given real equipment, but to be honest, I'm a bit tired of the job. It's exhausting and Chivalry's dead anyway. Oh, your name was Arthur, wasn't it? I remember you from the previous game. How are uh, the other knights doing? They all died in a freak windmill accident. It turns out they were playing on hardcore mode. Oh, yikes. Was this one of like the knights that were planning on like fighting Akron? in a volcano area. I'd have to go back and look at the previous game to find out. Okay, nothing new from him. I saw that shiny spot over there. Uh, what do we got up here? Oh, it's just those guys again. Uh, there's a slime bunny over there. And I believe to the right here is where the final area is at. Oh wait, no it's not. There is a little secret back here though. Which we unfortunately can't interact with, but that will be a useful form of fast travel when we get to the finale of this game. We can use one of our coral keys to get over here, which we have uh, some items that can permanently increase our stats. No trespassing, this area is off limits. Okay. We will eventually reach that area. But now we have, I believe, what is the last weapons shop. There's some pretty seasoned fighters in here. This shop must have quite a selection. Check out all those free samples. Oh, of course, all these items for us to take. What's this? I actually can't tell what that is. Is that... I genuinely can't tell. All right. Why don't they have any bows on display? This shop is disappointing. Of course, all this stuff for me to pick up. All right, let's see what all we got in here. I'm looking for some new shoes. Oh, the spike boots. Uh, there's nothing to do. We're going to do something at uh, one point, but now they do nothing. Uh, I was looking for some new shoes, but they don't seem to sell important stuff like shoes anywhere. Find me some, and I'll give you a rare treasure map. Okay. Uh, that scroll contains instructions for getting through the jungle maze. Oh, and thanks for the shoes. Earlier, we had... There was that jungle maze in the upper left corner of the map. We could not find the solution to it. Now we're able to, now that we have the map. The enemies in that area, though, are a bit difficult, so I wouldn't recommend going over there just yet. Uh, did you find the hidden runes in the jungle? Alright, what else do we got over here? I have heard that the mighty god cat will soon return to cleanse the earth with fire and death. I'm not going to be cleansed without putting up a fight first. I've collected so many weapons on my travels that I can't decide which ones to use anymore. Should I go for attack power or defense? An elemental damage or random buffs? Alright, let's see what remaining items they have here at the shop. There is a lot we could buy. Can we afford it all? I don't think so, actually. Let's start out with the... Um, hmm. I think maybe the drill bits will be a bit useful here. Buffs attack when hit by a powerful attack. I don't think that's the most useful ability. Flower pot. I think that's like an ability for a certain character. Was that a staff or... I don't know. Let's start with the stickers, I'd say. And then these are, I think, swords. I think let's save buying those for later and start with everything else. Because those are quite expensive. Yeah, it's a staff. Because these are both swords, I believe. Yeah, I think I'll want to save buying those for later. We will eventually get them, though. Alright, oh yes, this green. Okay, we don't want to go moving that in that direction. We want to find a way to get to the other side of that. So, let's start, I guess, by... Oh, I see the solution. There we go. Uh, the chainsaw gun. May kill targets instantly. Uh, may cast saw blade with certain skills. Randomly casts triple saw blades in between turns. Counters attacks with normal attack. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I found secret treasure over there. There is also a treasure chest hiding back here. What do these guys got to say? 
Uh, if you want to become my student, prove your skills by sneaking into the Temple of God, Cat. Show me an item from the temple as proof. That guy is the greatest and only karate master in Golden Brick. He's accepting students right now. You could learn a lot from him. Oh, wait, I didn't know it, it was finished. Mm, the Black Belt is uh, always a pretty boring class. Uh, why use your fists when you can use swords? <laughs> I'm sure there would be plenty of people who think like that. And we can move this box into place now and get over here. This town's looked after the Temple of God Cat for generations, and we've done well with all the tourism uh, generated. However, I've got a bad feeling that we'll be the first to suffer if something upsets God Cat. Uh, may her infinite divinity have mercy on our souls. Yeah, from how it sounded earlier, from what No Legs, I think, told us, it sounds like God Cat's really not happy with us. So, this will be interesting. Okay, we have a coral key that we're able to get in here. We initially couldn't get in here before. Ooh, torches. I don't think I want to know what happened in this house. Seems like something bad happened. At least now we're able to get over here. And see what's in this chest over here. We got a gold key. So, a few neat things we're finding over here. And something we can unlock with that newly obtained coral key. And there's that enemy over there that we have yet to fight. First things first, I'm going to do a bit more looking around where... Oh, we have one of the shortcuts from the Crystal Caverns. Not quite ready to move forward yet. Let's save here and take on this enemy over here. Did we ever encounter these enemies yet? Or are these all new? Okay, no, we did encounter them before. They're all weak to fire attacks. So let's get Lance out here and Natalie to quickly wipe them out. See, these guys are weak to both earth and fire attacks. So let's start with a, a flame burst. A widespread flame burst. And then Anna can do a flame storm. And Anna can perform Gaia Blossom, since they're also weak to Earth attacks. So they'll basically go out next. All go out next turn, basically. As long as everyone survives this attack, they should. Oh, of course, Natalie gets stunned. All right, that's fine. I could just whip someone else out. Uh, why don't we just to be safe go for a bullet hell on this guy? So that should still be enough to take them all out. Yep, I was right. And these guys are still weak to earth attacks, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, go all out with that. And just to be safe, I know these guys can be pretty tough, uh, especially with their brave effects. So let's start by dispelling their negative status effects, because brave can be pretty dangerous, since I think that like gives them the high chance of critical hits. They're usually... Re oh, dear. Re oh, that's right. I forgot a Anna had auto-revive on. That was close. Luckily, we had auto-revive. Now, we're going to have to take these guys out quickly, because I don't know... I don't know if we had have any good healing moves set up for these guys, so let's uh, cast an airstrike on these guys here. That was enough to take one of them out, and then I'll have... Let's have Matt take out the other cactus. And good, we managed to survive. A little bit close, uh, going so much on the attack, but we managed to survive. Then why don't we use our soul arrow to finish you off. Get us some decent XP. And we can move on. I asked more permanent stat buff moves. I think we're going to want to start eventually using those as we continue throughout our adventure. We're probably going to want them. So I believe up ahead here is the final area of the game. Yep. Ancient Civilization, the Temple of God Cat. Meow, meow, meow. I really hope you're not in on this jewel heist, No Legs. You know what happens uh, happened to my previous pets, right? Meow? That's right, they were delicious. Oh dear. 
Uh, I've got a funny feeling that we missed an important item back in town. We probably don't need it right away, but we sh uh, But should we go back and have another look? Nah, I'd rather see the final area already. Important item. What do we need? Temple of God Cat. The Temple of God Cat is a secret place, and many cats travel here to pray. Please be respectful. I mean, the only thing I can think of is behind that sandworm, and we saw how well fighting the sandworm turned out to be. And I have no idea what would be better ways of fighting the sandworm, considering how difficult it, of a fight it is. While it does have some decent weaknesses, at the same time, that one attack that completely wiped us out, I do feel like is a bit too tough for us, so I'll at least give it a scan so we can have this in mind, but this is the only thing I know we haven't done yet, but I feel like we're not ready for it yet. So I'm going to wait till we're a bit more leveled up to take on the sandworm. Like, how tough was that sandworm exactly? It was roughly level 27. We're currently at... We're about at even leveling with it, but at the same time, it is still going to be a pretty tough fight. Last material shop was around here somewhere, right? Ah, yes, right here. Oh, uh, yeah, we were already in here before. So many different items. So I suppose at this time we can think about upgrading well what's left to be upgraded uh this one always had decent magic defense this one we can max out right now be able to max out heaven's gates so i think i might stick with rune blade since it has more magic defense and evasion well heaven's gate also has good evasion what would happen if we were to max out uh rune blade well it would give us more magic defense. I think I might eventually want something that gives me more physical defense, though. Considering the difficulty we had with the sandworm. So one that gives us good physical defense looks to be the Sapphire Giant. So let's level that one up a bit. Because we're going to want, I believe, some high physical defense with some of these staves. I need to figure out here, though... Which ones are going to be the best ones to get defense on? Okay, it looks like the Wrecking Rod has some physical defense. So we can level that up a bit. This also appears to have a good balance of defense. The Flower Pot Staff. Okay, that actually isn't the most useful form of upgrades. Okay, there's a bit there, but I wouldn't say it's as useful as others. Yeah, mainly I've been using the regular staff for Natalie, so let's see what happens when we, like, really try to go all out with upgrading some of these. So yeah, some of these staffs when upgraded highly like that. Flower Pot has high defense. We, though we really want to focus on the ones with high physical defense. So for Anna, or Natalie, I'm going to have her equip the Wrecking Rod. Because we're really going to want to be able to tank some good hits from that... Uh, from the boss there. And also switch out uh, Matt's sword for that. Because it's mainly the physical attacks that are the real danger here. So that's what I want to look into upgrading here to make sure we have that good physical defense. So which ones can have physical defense upgraded? That one doesn't focus on upgrading it very much. This one seems to have a bit more upgrade, but not as much as I'd like it to. I want one that can get a lot of defense in when fully upgraded. That's not very useful. Some of these I feel like they need to have like some extra defense or something. Not just what we have here. And I'm not seeing it. Okay, those are pretty cool, but again, I'm really looking for high def physical defense here. Okay, the fairy bow for Anna seems to be the one with the highest uh, defense physically. These are just the weapons I'm looking at. I'm certain some of these will probably have 
Uh, also have good physical defense. This has seems to have good physical defense. What others might have some good physical defense here? I'm gonna be very experimental with these and seeing like which ones have a lot of physical defense. Mini bomber doesn't have a very defensive capabilities. This one has some pretty good defensive qualities to it. So maybe I could go with that one. This one is mainly designed for the chance at instant death attacks. This is our MP siphoning gun. Which I would say is not the most useful thing to use. Alright, so that's pretty good. That has a random chance of casting med pack. How high can defense get for that? Looks to be pretty high. So yeah, I really want that physical defense. Oh yeah, why don't we uh, equip the knight's helmet? Uh, let's see, Vade. See, a knight's helmet has very high defense. What about the knight's armor? Do we even have a knight's armor yet? Oh, this seems stalls. A spacesuit also seems to have high defense as well. Lots of options here for high defensive gear. Bone armor can randomly curse the player. That's something that decreases defense. That's not going to be very useful. Uh, magic attack when hit by a powerful attack. Yeah, that doesn't seem very useful. And for this kind of armor, I think this is... This one has good physical defense. Yeah, very good physical defense. Uh, what else might have good physical defense? That has fairly good physical defense. So I'd say it's reasonably good, but not good enough. Yeah, definitely max out defense on that one. Uh, what are some ones that we currently have that have high... Okay, we want the ones with high physical defense, so we might want to just go with that. Since that right there is high physical defense. Okay, we'll need more items for that. Okay. I think I can form make a formation here that will allow for high physical defense against uh, the worm here. So we'll set that up. So now Anna's at be at the best physical defense there. Nah, uh, Anna's at that much, which is 20. We want something with high earth defense like this. So I think that might be pretty good. Natalie has that. So I think in terms of physical, raw physical defense, our best option is probably going to be this, since it gives us that ground resistance, because the sandworm is like a mostly earth-based elemental enemy, right? It only shows me the weaknesses, though, so I can't really tell. I think its attacks are mostly earth-focused, though. So I think that'll be a good move. And then we have Lance. We want the guns with the high defense. Which one was the one with the high defense? It was the Heavy Claw. That's the one it was. And then we'll go with the army gear. Since that, oh, that's not very strong, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. The astronaut suit as well also is pretty high terms of defense well when it's up gets upgraded it will right now that'll be the best get up for Matt well we can also put on the knight helmet for uh, Matt Lance I want the med well actually no the captain's hat is still stronger for Lance we're gonna need to upgrade those more if we want those to work well. Now in terms of uh, what we have equipped, 
I don't think any of my uh, flare really has like defense focus stuff. It mostly just grants resistances and stuff, which I think we're gonna want a bit of earth resistance. So let's go ahead and upgrade that to max, and then think about who needs it most. Slow down a bit. Match up boosts accuracy. This, I think, will definitely be the most beneficial for them. Let's give Natalie the Earth the increased Earth resistance. And with that, we should be able to go all out against the Sandworm now. And be able to have a better shot at tanking hits. Because this thing majorly relies on physical attacks. So by focusing on a build that relies off the physical defense boosters, that's going to be what's going to allow us to do well here. So I think we'll have this set up right here for the entire fight. This is going to be the go-to strat that's going to win this for us. I wonder, would it maybe be possible for... No, I think instant death is currently blocked on it. Yeah, it is. So there's going to be no chance of an instant death hit on it. I could immediately start with a Power Blast or Mother Earth. No, Power Blast will be stronger. But let's uh, start out with the Vines. Then... Uh, Natalie, you focus on poisoning the main head. We're gonna want to keep things up high here, so I'm gonna I want to keep Anna on screen. I think so. Let's whip out Lance. Wait, when did I give Lance the pirate hat? I thought I gave him his captain's hat back. When did I? Oh no, officer's hat is even worse actually. I guess I made a bit of a mistake. Oh well. For now, just focus on getting. Natalie back, or Anna back up. Back up and running in the game. Actually, I got an idea. Is this thing immune to weaken? It is not. Maybe we can occasionally cast Soul Arrow. Because uh, I know sometimes that has the chance of um, uh, making them weak. So I think what we can do is first things first, I'm going to keep that thing highly poisoned. Let's do that this turn. How did I miss that? Oh, right. Accuracy is still low. That's right. Alright, we're done with Lance, so let's get him off screen. Alright, next, I'm gonna have Anna cast Soul Arrow. Because that'll cast Weaken, weaken which will make him even weaker. By doing that, we'll keep us strong. Up next, let's have uh, Natalie cast Ice Shard on the head. Which was unfortunately a miss. Really uh, decreasing that accuracy. Which is really what worries me here, because I gotta make sure these attacks hit. It's like, this is probably gonna miss. Oh no, it still hit. Yeah, usually Anna has high accuracy. I don't know why that keeps taking away defense. Well, whatever the case, keep the sandworm poisoned for now. Yeah, we're doing a much better job tanking hits here. So I think we got a shot at this. Let's whip Lance back out to heal Anna. All right, and then whip Natalie back out to cast heal more on everyone. So we all kind of need it. I would like to make sure everyone remains safe. And then cast another soul arrow to make sure that thing remains relatively weak. Although it's ten going down by 10 as far as it's going to go. That's what it looks like to me. Anyway, get Matt back in here. Keep that defense high. Do I have something equipped that keeps dispelling Anna's defense? I can't tell. Alright. That's uh, max poison right there. So I think 
to take some safe measures, I'm gonna... Well, I wanted to, uh... Poison the tail, but I guess not this turn. Okay, it's still getting weaker. That's a good sign. Alright, and Natalie, you cast heal more. And then cast more vines, I'd say. And then what do I want Matt to do this turn? So we're pretty good where we are now. I guess we could gr try... Eh, no, that's not gonna work. Why don't we have Matt poison the tail? That way, eventually... Okay, here it comes. Is this gonna be strong enough to be an it's Okay, no, we managed to tank it. Unfortunately, Natalie wasn't able to tank it, but we managed to survive it. That was the main focus of going with this all-out physical defense formation. Was that so we could tank that? I still think we're gonna be need a bit more. Well, let's just get the physical defense back up. Allowing us to better survive all of this. But yeah, I think the combination of weakening uh, the sandworm itself combined with uh, uh, going with an all-out defense build was what allowed us to survive getting survive that attack. So now, why don't we cast another soul arrow? Keep that thing weakened. Uh, Matt, why don't you poison the tail a bit more? All right, this uh, looks to be when it's going to start unleashing the poison attacks. So I think we're going to want to now get the magic defense up. So I am a little bit worried about that. And why don't we just do some extra poisoning on the tail just to be sure it goes down here. Oh, it still gets to make a move? Alright, fine. And of course it stuns Nat, or Anna. That's fine. I'll just whip someone out to uh, cure Anna. And why don't we have Anna take a turn to just use refresh on Natalie there. Because Natalie looks like she could use it. I think at this point, it should be smooth sailing from this point onward. We have a good setup here. It's badly poisoned. Alright, let's also cast Refresh on Matt. And then get physical defense back up for Anna. And then cast another Toxic to make sure it stays poisoned. It's gonna go down soon. Hardly felt a thing there. Alright, with that it should slowly go down. Just gotta keep it weakened. And we got this. Okay, that missed. Accuracy is still down a bit much. Okay, here it comes again. Oh, wait. Anna doesn't have... Yeah. Okay, I saw that coming. Alright, let's... Uh, have Matt use a coffee for Anna. Then, Natalie, you go ahead and activate that. And why don't we activate vines on this guy over here? No effect on Anna, probably because of what I have equipped. Alright, next turn, that thing's going down. So let's have Anna for the remainder of this fight focus more towards support. Alright, get the fences up. And unleash one last Toxic on the boss. Well, unfortunately, though, it missed. Accuracy is still way too low. Wow. Was not expecting this. Okay, it's pretty much finished now. 
Let's finish it off. We should be able to get it here with enough attacks. Alright, Matt. Use Legend. That should take care of it. Gotcha. I'm tired after that. I need to work out more for reals. That was a tough fight. I really had to go all out with changing up my strategy. Metal earned worm control. The fact that we got a medal for that shows just how tough that fight was. Well, yeah, that medal was specifically for beating it on epic difficulty. There we go. That's what we were missing earlier. We were missing the step ladder. So with this step ladder, we're able to reach places we initially couldn't reach before. So I think for this episode, I think I might make this a good stopping point. Because while there is stuff left for us to reach... Ooh, another coral key. I think we got what we needed that I think it'll be a good idea now to go ahead and eventually prepare for the final area. I guess we can take a, one last look around the town, but there is still one more ability I'd like to get my hands on before we go all out with the backtracking. So, I, oh, hey there. What is it? By the powers, you looted the stepladder. You better watch your back from now on, matey. So there are a few areas we can reach now with using this stepladder. Oh, there's a secret area over here. Oh, right, we initially couldn't make it to this part of the Lanky Root Jungle. I don't want to take on that enemy yet. I think I'd like to save that for another time, because that looks tough. How tough is this thing? Yeah, that looks like an entire dragon. Let's let's uh, summon Scambot to see what this thing's about. What do we got here? Blue Dragon, a mighty sea dragon which uses powerful water and ice attacks, can buff the magic defense of their foes. That sounds pretty tough. I don't think I want to take that on this episode. We already went up against one super tough enemy this episode. I don't think I want to take on any more right now. I'm satisfied. Uh, was there something over here that I might have missed? There is a nice little shortcut back to the starting area there. Okay. So what the- oh, I saw that shiny spot over there, so I'm glad I went back to this room. Also, was that a- oh, no, that wasn't. So with that out of the way, there's only a few upgrades left. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, proceed to the final area next episode. Since we're getting to that point of the game. Okay. So, next time on Epic Battle Fantasy 4, we will enter the Temple of God Cat, beginning the final area of the game. Temple of God Cat. The Temple of God Cat is a sacred place, and many cats travel here to pray. Please be respectful. So, here we go. In the next episode of Epic Battle Fantasy 4, we will enter the Temple of God Cat. Beginning our ascent up towards the final area. Until next time, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent, everyone.